Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Hermits. Guys, I'm picking up lead or pieces off the floor, but since the last episode you can already see we have changed a few things around here and those things are just on the platforms that we now have. So I'll just quickly, quickly go through them. Uh, I've got a spawning area here which is going to be for passive mobs. I haven't barred it off yet and nothing spawns so I'm not really worrying about it too much, but because I had to kill off the... Uh, the stuff that was in there. I could have moved them, but I just decided to kill off the sheep and uh, cows that were in there. Um, and I think it was a pig, maybe? But yeah, I, I decided to kill those off, and uh, I've kept the chickens for the moment, but I will be moving those slash killing them in the meantime. Um, that's going to go over there. I have some basic uh, storage drawers over here, just holding a bunch of items that we are commonly needing, such as the ingots, the, uh, the gems, and the sand and such. Um, that we're getting a lot of at least. Uh, I've upgraded this to have an, a fluid conduit just because it is in general quicker and I'm also every so often filling these up and I can do it with the iron horse armors now and they are giving me a bunch of molten iron and I've also got some gold worth in there as well. I've also upgraded these to uh, diamond sp stiffened meshes on a bunch of these and this thing, a mechanical user, I can't show you right now, I haven't got any ores but uh, you can basically put it in here and it's going to activate all these with sand, gravel, dust, whichever one we want to use. The only problem I'm having right now is with the way I've got these two set up, um, these two here actually get some sand put into them. So I need a way of counteracting that for the moment, um, considering this is as widely spaced as I can really get it without pushing it right next to the side and having a three block gap in between, which might be how I have to do it. But it is currently throwing a load of ores around, of the ore pieces around here, as you can see. And that's the reason I've been picking up some randomly, as you may have been able to see um, over the last few minutes of the introduction. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's doing a good job. And the main reason I'm doing sand right now is two reasons, actually. One, we're getting a lot from the loot bags. I think you get them from common and uncommon ones. And also, I'm after a lot of Eulorium. As we can see, I've got some there, and I've got a bunch in here. And the reason for that is because I want to take this big area I've got over here. This is an 11 by 11 area. Let's just take this Enderman out. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we've got an 11 by 11 area over here that I want to fill up. And uh, the way I want to do it is I want to have a Eulorium on the 11 by 11 with Crucibles on top. So they've got 20 times um, lava you know, creation rate from cobblestone with some cobblestone generators on like each side, filtering cobblestone in there and then pulling out with uh, ender IO conduits so they can go all go in one block, pulling out um, them into a massive tank up here, which I could either use these tanks over there or something I found in mechanism called a dynamic tank, which can change size depending on how long, how big you build it. It requires one bucket and you know, uh, four steel for four of them. We're gonna... Steels, I don't think it's too difficult to make, but buckets we've definitely got a lot of, slash, we got a lot of iron. So I can then create a dynamic tank, which I can put as an 11 by 11 by 11 structure block, uh, which I should be able to do that at least. And uh, that'll be really, really cool, I think, and a really, really good, um, you know, constantly being created lava source, which, uh, you know, will be just generally quite a cool thing to have, even if we don't really have too much of a purpose for it. Um, but other than that, the thing I want to do today is I actually want to get started on uh, applied energistics, but to do that, I've just quickly checked. Also, I picked up some dark steel because you can pick it up from the loot bags, um, apparently. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know actually how I've got them because it said you can't, but you, I'm pretty sure I picked them up from in here. So unless there's a mob that drops it somehow, uh, that's actually how I got them. It's weird that it's not actually showing, but I, I've been getting some dark steel in here. Again, don't know how if it's not coming. It doesn't apparently have a, you know, uh, a loot box thing. But uh, we've got some dark steel. It's fairly easy to make as well. And I wanted to just quickly also use these, since I've got 25 of them, just to make some dark steel balls to replace these, because you'll see these have a main output of 120%, a bonus output of 125%, and a power reduction of 15%. These are more expensive to make, but they have a main output of 150%, bonus output of 200%, and a power reduction of 30%. So we're actually doubling our power reduction using these, even though they probably won't last as long. But um, for now, I think we'll be all right, basically, with what we have. Um, and, you know, they're not that, that difficult to make. I mean, what is it? Some coal, some iron, 
and some obsidian, all of which we have a lot of. So, pretty simply, what do I want to be doing today? I said I wanted to be doing Applied Energistics, but in order for us to do that, we have to start with this quest here, the pressing quest. So we need to get all these presses now. To do that is a little bit of a hassle. So we got the one, two, three, and four presses. We don't have to worry about the name one. To get this, we have to use pure status quartz. That's not too bad. Diamond, gold, and silicon. We have all but the pure status quartz, which we have to uh, wait and make. But we need status quartz essence, and we are going to need, you know, 32 of those in total in order to do it. So status quartz essence is made from two from one Certus Quartz seed from a seed reprocessor, which is something else we're going to have to make and see how we do that. Uh, it's going to be interesting. But to do that, we're going to need some uh, some tier three crafting seeds. So we need an, um, a lot of, you know, tier two crafting seed. We need some tier one crafting seed, which means we need a lot of Infernium. Now, I think I've threw away quite a bit of Infernium by accident. Uh, because I was thinking, oh, I'm not going to need this for a little while, so let's have a little quick look. I mean, I, this was empty, I'd like to point out, just as we started recording about five minutes ago, and you can see it's already full, so this is actually insane. I've also added a, um, I've added a trash can here because I want to get rid of all these bat bags, um, which are just the most annoying thing. I feel like I should just try and disable them somehow, but I'm sure they'll, I'll need them somewhere in the near future. What we want to basically be doing, though, is uh, we want to be clearing this place out. So I was actually thinking of setting up some item filters and just having inputs into here constantly. But we want to take the Infernium Essences that we can find in here. So that is five stacks of Infernium Essence, plus whatever's in here, maybe another stack in there. And we want to basically find some um, Prosperity Shards, which we should have some of. Yeah, we definitely do. We've also got some more Infernium. Ah, no, here's all the blocks of Infernium I have. I don't have to worry too much. Oh my god. Oh. My. God. I knew I should have lit that place up. That's... Not good. Right, I'm, uh... I'm gonna have to try and fix this up quickly. Oh god. Let's just get out of here quickly. Um, yeah, right. I'm gonna have to just clear up the mass amount of cobblestone that's just come off, uh, off the floor. I'll see you in just a little bit. Apparently I didn't light this place up well enough and a creeper, you know, caught me by surprise. Let's get this sorted. <laughs> All right, so it's a little bit later and I finally sorted everything out. Uh, basically everything here was destroyed and the drawer was destroyed. However, luckily for me, the uh, upgrades for the drawer were not. So uh, everything else is perfectly fine in here. Just had to remake the crucible and two more fluid tanks and that's pretty much it. And a drawer, which isn't, uh, you know, it's a chest and six pieces of wood. So, you know, not very difficult to remake. Bit of a pain though, um, and that's now producing, obviously. Uh, I can't remember how exactly how much it produces. I think it's one every tick, so that's 20 a second. Yeah, one cobblestone block every single tick, um, and apparently can output to hopper below and output, output to an inventory above. Okay, cool. But yeah, getting back onto this while these refill up, what I wanted to do, obviously, is I wanted to get to uh, this, but first we're going to have to do some mystical agriculture. So we're going to have to get to at least tier 3 seeds, so we want to get everything here sorted. We have different furnaces, we're not going to worry about those. What we want is an infusion crystal and uh, upgrade to these, and I guess while we're at it, we can actually do some uh, watering cans. So we have all of these still, luckily, so luckily none of those actually got destroyed. I'm actually just going to check in every single one over here uh, what Infernium I can pick up. And I can guarantee you, if I jump back down here, this is going to be full once again. And it's going to have a bunch of Infernium probably sneaking around somewhere. If not, I have a plan. We can uh, just put Infernium here for a second. And we can just get a bunch of these back through. Once all these are through, we can pick up our Infernium that's both in the chests and also, uh, you know, in the hoppers, or the uh, the vacuum chest thing that's coming through. You can already see a bunch of Infernium coming through now. So I'm just going to quickly 
basically go through all of these items and pretty much I'll see you in a second once uh, they've been sorted out because uh, the more Infernium the better and the more we can have you know diversity of, of different Infernium tiers and such uh, pretty much so yeah let me just get through these and I'll be right back right so that's pretty much the most that was going to come through i think i only ended up being about 51 but basically now we need to uh, i think we had a watering can did we not make the watering can from this or am i i know we made a watering can yeah this watering can but i don't know if we have made this one what we need to do is we need to go at mystical agriculture that works out and we need to look at what we need to actually do also whilst we're here i'm pretty sure i have something somewhere yeah i have quite a few of these that i just kind of uh completed apparently i never actually completed this one but there we are we also have electronic out or electrical steel for electrical alloy because i made some item conduit upgrades so let's claim those we we'll also made dark alloy um which i just found some so that was nice uh, and I don't think we've got anything else, so I'm just going to quickly look through these three. Mystical Fertilizer, part of Mystical Agriculture, which is nice. A Ghast Charm, which means a Ghast cannot see us. And a Creative Modifier, 16 of them. A Legendary Reward, and it has no EMC value, so we are going to hold that for the moment. Uh, that means we can, in theory, make a like an ultimate tool with like 16 modifiers on. Which, if we could just make like a sword, maybe, or like a, um, if we could make like a rapier, which ignores armor, and then just add a bunch of quartz to it, that'll be insane. But what we need to do is we need to go back to Mystical Agriculture, we need to go to uh, uh, Prudentium, and we need to make 32 Prudentium in order to progress here. So, Prudentium is made using an infusion crystal, and that. So we have uh, a choice of the normal infusion crystal with a thousand uses and the master infusion crystal which requires uh, four regular ones a terra steel ingot and four supremium uh, and you know that's made with however it's supposed to be made i'm not too sure on botania i need to learn it but uh yeah <laughs> that definitely means we're going to go with this for the moment just some prosperity shards infernium and a diamond and we should have some diamonds in there luckily we didn't use uh or didn't lose those rather so we need to make one infusion crystal. We could make 16 if we wanted to, but no thank you. Uh, and then we just need to make... Was it six, 32 of these? Thirty-two of that. That is then that quest completed. Let's get our loot chest. Claim that for ourselves. Uh, we'll put the diamonds away somewhere for the moment. I don't think we're going to need them for a little while. I'll probably need them straight away now that I've said that. A flask of magma skin. I think we already had one of those. I'm not sure. It could be something similar. Nope, we already have one. Uh, so, Prudentium. Next one is... Oh, we also completed Infusion Stone, so we'll get that. Next one is 16 Intermedium, which is where we're going to have to uh, go for what we want. So, um, Intermedium. Essence, which is we need 16 of those, so we're gonna need uh, we're making eight currently, so we're gonna have to get 32 more of these, I think, and then one of those. So that's 16 of that. That should be that quest complete. One more loot chest for ourselves. A oh, cool. Behead skeletons and scorches them black. Looting enchantment level 40. Bruh. 999 damage. And it is also unbreakable. Bicarbon broadsword. Okay, we don't have to worry about... I'm going to hold that into a, a chest over here. That is insane. Which does bring me on to the point, actually. I, I completely forgot this. We'll, we'll do it whilst we're here. We have a quest in this place, which is Withered Skeletons. We need to kill some Wither Skeletons, get three Wither Skeleton Skulls. Somewhere in here, we have one currently. I can't actually remember where I put it. I know we definitely have one somewhere. Here it is, a Wither Skeleton Skull. Now, there is a way to make a Wither Skeleton Skull, and that is from um, a Skeleton Skull and a Withered Rib. Also, I just noticed this actually has looting 40 on it. So if we wanted, we could actually now... I'm thinking, if we just go to the, like, 
If I just put all these blocks back quickly. 37, 2, some, some of these items. I just want to go, like, kill stuff and see if we can get, like, guaranteed... Yeah, we just got a Wither Skeleton skull from a regular skeleton. Let's see if we can do the same over here. Come on, skeleton, you're going to drop... One awesome sword. <laughs> Another will it's like a guaranteed weather skeleton drop. We didn't even have to go to the nether. Uh that is our best, I think, thing we've had this entire game. We definitely have to make sure we don't lose it. Uh I'm very glad though. I, I was very worried for a moment that it was um that it would have a durability. So I was instantly about to go, how do I craft it? It's actually part of the extreme crafting, the dire crafting table. But uh, that actually, you know, Crystal Matrix, that's, that looks like it's expensive. 442,368 EMC. Blaze Powder's not difficult. Bone's not difficult. Birchwood's not difficult. Nether Star, probably difficult, but not with this thing. Um, but there is actually a better sword. Um, because there is the Sword of the Cosmos. And then we got the Skullfire. Um, which I think is this one. Oh, so this one is a regular one, but this is super enchanted, so it's unbreakable and 999 and looting 40. Oh, cool. Right. <laughs> Nonetheless, let us, uh, we could probably make a wither if we wanted to. Maybe we'll leave off with the wither, uh, today or next episode. But, um, yeah, so now we can make intermedium. We have intermedium, we can use those, and we can craft together some tier 3 crafting seeds, which can then get us some, uh, where are they? What we want to do, I, by the end of the, us doing stuff here, I want to have one of each seed. That is my end game. Um, so much so that I'm probably going to, oh, it is literally the last one, I'm probably going to try and, um, I'm not particularly going to do it now, but like the setup we have here, I want to maybe expand that one out further and have a farm that can, like holds every single farm if we can have like enough of these. Each farm can have, you know, maybe with like two or three layers, but we can have every single seed. So I'm actually going to at some point look at all the seeds we can get. But nonetheless, uh, we need some quartz, which we have a bunch of in here. We are going to need... Um, Let's see what we actually do need still. Set us court seed. We need some tier three, tier two. So we need a uh, set of... How do we make this? Just seeds and prosperity shards? Do we have any regular seeds? That's what we're after currently. If not, I'll uh, see what I can get. But... This probably isn't going to help too much. Nope, I do have some. And then we need prosperity shards which we have there. So, Prosperity Shards, one of each. And then we're going to need some Infernium. We're going to need that Crystal. We're going to need you. Then we can craft you up. We want to make one, and I'm not sure if we can get more. Like, I'm not sure. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've actually done this. But I'm not sure if we can make more, or we physically... Like, we, I don't know if we can from one seed get more seeds or we physically have to uh make them again but nonetheless there is a certus quartz seed which we are then going to take a hoe uh let's just make a cobblestone one why don't we do that we are going to have to find an area with some water nearby in fact, let's just get this well, and I think, since we've now moved all this stuff, I'm happy just putting a bit of water there, and then maybe covering that up or something. But we can then hoe that ground, put a Certus Quartz seed there, it's got a growth of zero. Um, we can't use bone meal on it, that's not going to work. However, what we can do is um, we have that watering can. I'm pretty sure the watering can should work on this item. Now, I also want to see how we upgrade these. So, Infernium Fertilization Core, which is some fertilized essence, which you can get a drop chance of 10%, but we got 32 of those, I think, a second ago. Some base essence ingots, which we need some mithril or mana infused ingots. So, those will be interesting to see how you get them. Um, you get them apparently from sieving crushed netherrack. 
Now, is there a way we can get a lot of netherite? I guess we can make a um, nether essence seed, but you have to get some soul sand and netherite. Maybe we'll do that once, uh, once the time comes, but we can take this watering can and we can do this and over time it should allow us to grow these up. Now I'm not sure if I have any. I would have, I think I saw I have at least one, but I think I might have two. Okay, I thought I had some. Uh, basically, I thought I had some growth crystals. Tier one at least. Because uh, you can go up to tier three, which are insane. But uh, yeah, I thought I had at least one of these. But maybe we can do it with these. So we have... Uh, Growth accelerators, grows a plant above it faster, and uh, then we got these, works on 9 by 9 checks up two blocks and down two blocks. So, what we want to do is we want to make one of these, some Infernium blocks. Let's uh, do that. So we need four of them. Regular cobble, is it, please? Or is it chiseled? No, it's one, two, three, four in there. Oh, we already had some anyway. And a diamond, which is over here. I said I would need some soon. So let's make a growth accelerator. We'll then go down a block. Right, so the game crashed. Apparently it doesn't want me to put in this growth crystal. Let's put that in quickly. It's not going to make a too noticeable of a difference at this moment in time, because as a whole, it is quite a slow process anyway. Um, but it is probably going to make a difference, uh, especially when we get these growth crystals, which don't actually look too difficult to make. Some dirty glass, which is a soul sand, and some glass. Um, compressed bone, very easy to make. Sea lantern's the only one I'm a bit worried about because it looks like we're going to have to get some essence or do some reliquary stuff. And I'm not sure how we're actually going to obtain uh, the first set of these guardian chunks. Like, how am I going to get the first... First bit proves me. Okay, it looks like Batania is our answer there. But here we are already. You can see 71%, 85% are, um, luckily for us, you know, during this time, you'll see in the bottom left hand corner, it, uh, our watering can does still get used because it's a little bit um, weird how it sometimes gets used up. Like, you can, I'm not touching anything now and it's still doing it. Um, but sometimes it doesn't. You have to hold on to it. it. It's it's weird. But we are at, you know, 85%. This will go up very, very quickly uh, to... There we are. And that is our first bit of crystal or certus quartz essence, which I completely forgot to... to Yeah, I was thinking for some reason I would need the seed reprocessor, but no, we just need the, uh, the actual thing to spawn. So we need 32 of these, and uh, that will make us enough of for the four different things. Also, we could use Skystone Dust, which I think we have a bunch of. Yes, we do. Do they have any other use? We can make Skystone, which is a pretty cool block. Maybe we'll use that in the future. But for now, all we have to do is wait for this to, uh, to grow. During that time, I'll uh, continue to just, you know, go down here and do that stuff. Also, since we have this now, these in evolved Endermen I had the issue with them where they're not one hits. But luckily now they are. So we also get an Enderman skull, uh, one of those Enderman skulls, an Enderman head, a friendly appeal, a nebulous heart. 37 Ender pearls from one hit. Uh, 40 pretty much from one kill. My god, the amount of feathers I'm going to get when I kill these guys. Uh, can you imagine? In fact, shall we do that quickly? Um, just to end off, I kind of want to do that if I can get up here without them uh, launching me off. That'll be fun. Right, I'm going to have to just get a block from back here and just replace this with it. There we are. So that way they can't get up now. I'm going to do that. Right, so let us take all the feathers out, all the chicken out. We got some eggs as well. Oh my god, we're getting hit off. Let us just lastly... Um, oh, let's just... Let's just put them there for the moment. Um, like, how many are we going to get from this one hit? Four. Okay, that's not great, I'll admit. But let us see all of these, if we can get up there. Uh, how much we're going to get 
from all of these chickens with level 40 looting. Also, I would have thought, right? That's that's going to be a lot of those, but we're going to get a lot of loot bags, surely. <laughs> Might be better to manually kill um, nowadays. Because you would have thought... But yeah, we're never going to need feathers again at this rate. So, um... Yeah, that's always going to be a great time. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, very interesting, very cool item that we've just got, and I'm very, very glad of my luck today, because, uh, you know, I never knew this item even existed. Um, I definitely wouldn't have even known just from looking at the uh, JEI stuff, because obviously it only shows it as 7 attack damage, but we have 999 attack damage. That is insane. That is going to get us a long way. In fact, that might even one-shot a wither. We'll find out in the next episode, I think, where we will uh, test that theory, I think, a little bit, since we're going to get so many, um, you know, wither skulls and skulls and stuff like that and blaze rods. And because I need to get blaze rods for my plan for the tank and stuff, I think we will actually uh, go back to the nether for a little bit, but I'll do it off camera. I'll just do it on my own. So, uh... Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to clear up the rest of this. It's going to take forever. I'm going to need a recycling bin um, or a trash can. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.